Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we are going to speak regarding one last faction which is left for us to speak about, which is Wilderberg. We already spoke regarding Spring Wardens, what kind of advantages and disadvantages their units have. Yesterday we spoke regarding League of Order and how powerful and how important Wilder is as a hero for a starting hero. Also, we said that uh, League of Order is the best free-to-play faction in the game currently. So now it's time for us to speak more deeply about Wilderberg, their special and main hero, starting hero Bahar, and in general what kind of units and faction ability Wilderberg has. And of course, the main question if the Wilderberg is the free-to-play uh, faction or not, right? Uh, until we're gonna move forward, first of all, we need to speak about uh, unit types, right? What kind of special abilities Wilderberg's uh, units has and what kind of special units Wilderberg have in general. First of all, X-Men infantry unit uh, for the Wilderberg, like most basic uh, skill, uh, like physical defense is increased whenever there is like a couple of religions around. Basic uh, skill, almost every faction's infantry units have some kind of same skill, only uh, Spring Warden's units has that whenever rage units are attacking him, uh, he is dealing a lot more counter-attack damage. But for the Wilderberg, Axemen, infantry mill unit are kind of basic, right? Nothing really special about the Axemen. The Spearman, Marksman uh, ranged unit for the Wilderberg, uh, whenever they are attacking the enemy, uh, they are getting Berserks, uh, and in battle their graceful movements increased all damage deal to enemies. So, basically, like whenever you are uh, killing somebody or dealing damage in general, all damage deals are increased to enemies. So, this is like a great uh, special ability to have for the Marksman. Uh, ex especially if you are having a tier 5 unit, whenever you are destroying the enemy lines, uh, like this can get better and better, right? Uh, the uh, mage unit, Satyr Witches, uh, they are like basically uh, getting attack increased whenever there is a so like friendly unit surrounding them. It's like a same kind of skill like a Spring Warden's Trints have, but they are increasing their defense. Uh, but in this case, Satyr Witches are increasing their attacks, which is pretty good, uh, especially for the players who are spending money in this game, right? Like whenever you have tier 5 units all around, uh, even 1% attack is giving you the huge benefits, right? Because tier 5 units have highest amount of attack, um, uh, like if we're gonna compare to the other tier units, right? Uh, the Wolf Riders, the cavalry units of the Wilderberg, they are melee units, uh, and whenever they are entering to the battlefield, they are getting physical attack uh, for a brief period. That means like whenever they will start fighting uh, with the enemy, they are getting a like a couple of seconds of physical attack bonus. And as I said, in general, physical attack uh, benefits more uh, for the player who has a higher tier units and almost everything maxed, right? Uh, the special units uh, of the Wilderberg faction is pretty interesting. Uh, marksman range, the flying unit, right? Uh, in this case, we have a flying unit who is a uh, marksman, but... Uh, in general, in Call of Dragons, marksman does not have the highest range. The magic units does. That's why uh, whenever I spoke regarding League of Order special units Celestials, which are major ranged units, I said that they are best simply because they don't need to engage to enemy or get close to enemy to in order to deal damage. Uh, so like uh, marksmen ranged flying wyvern riders are better than eagles in my opinion and they are worse than Celestial. So in, like for the order I would put the League of Order special unit number one, the best special unit. After that, I would put Wyvern Riders like, as a second best unit. And uh, Eagles, I would put last, uh, dead last. Because uh, for a free-to-play player, especially for a tier 4 player, whenever you go melee range to attack enemies, you are getting destroyed. That's the honest opinion uh, of uh, the situation. Because I have spent $0 in this game. 
And whenever I go to the melee range against the enemies, I'm simply getting destroyed. That's the whole point of, uh, whole idea regarding uh, why I choose uh, Celestials over Weaven Riders, right? Uh, the I'm not gonna speak about workhorse uh, like um, they are getting extra resources right nothing really special every kind of faction has some kind of same work uh, work rhinos or workhorses but the work rhinos do actually look like funny like the tongue uh, and the eyes right so yeah this is the uh, units of the uh, faction Wilderberg uh, they are pretty interesting but as I said they are especially good if you have a strong uh, legion for yourself uh, and the heroes which are awakened and in general if you ha if you are having a higher tier units in your army right the faction bonus says a lot right destruction engineering is kind of useless it means that whenever you're gonna, gonna attack enemies um, territory like faction bonus right whenever they're gonna attack enemies territory take some tower right or uh, take some spire your Wilderberg uh, units will deal more uh, damage to the towers and it's gonna get destroyed faster not a big uh, advantage right uh, I would not say that it like in, in general engineering is important uh, like a system in the game and having it as a faction bonus is kind of useless this is like the main reason one of the main reasons why i don't like playing uh, the wilderberg and why i prefer uh, league of order and even spring wardens right destruction engineering is useless but uh, legion physical attack 3% you might uh, uh, say that 3% is way less right it's not a big amount but if we're gonna compare it to the research tab uh, like 3% whenever you want to increase your physical like legion's physical attack to 3% you need to wait 50 days to research the skill right so uh, for here as as you are playing as a Wilderberg, you are getting this legion physical attack for free just by picking the faction so i like this uh, kind of like faction bonus uh, like amazing faction bonus in general but it will be preferable for the people who has a higher tier uh, legions and in general like uh, higher tier units higher tier legions uh, like awakened heroes in general are getting more and more benefit by uh, like physical attack bonus right now if you are tier 4 player this physical attack bonus won't gonna help you with the tier 5 players and whenever you are tier 5 player you are you are having the highest amount of attack uh for a single like for any unit right and the percentage of the damage is getting increased way more right uh, so this is like a faction bonus for the wilderberg uh, like i don't like destruction engineering but i love uh, legion physical attack but as i said it's for the people more for the people who have um like at least 45 million power uh, at least one single uh, tier 5 unit and in general for them this is the uh, best uh, faction bonus in my opinion as always i'm gonna speak about starting hero because uh, whenever you are choosing the, the faction in the beginning of the game you need to look at the starting hero because this, that's the first hero you're gonna awaken now, that's the first hero you are going to play with right and for the Wilderberg. The starting hero is Bahar, uh, infantry garrison skill, uh, pretty interesting hero, uh, not the best one unfortunately, but you're gonna have a lot of uses uh, of the Bahar in general whenever you are starting the game. Like I won't gonna go speak deeply about the skill set of the Bahar, but everything is kind of viable, uh, inf infantry garrison and skill. Uh, like in his skill set he has at least one skill which is only for garrison which is a good thing and a bad thing of course whenever you start the game you're gonna have a garrison hero but in the beginning of the game nobody is rallying your uh, town right so like the garrison talent tree in general and like garrison skill is kind of useless in the beginning of the game later you might use uh, bahar as a uh, garrison hero and the garrison talent tree and uh, garrison uh, skill will be useful for you but uh, I'm gonna say like all around it's always better to have every single skill viable in any kind of situations of the game That's my uh, opinion, but like if we're gonna compare the starting hero of the other factions I think uh, Gwenwin is better than Bahar 
and Waldir is better than uh, both of them. That's my opinion. Purely regarding like starting heroes, Bahar, Bahar is in my opinion dead last. Um, but I would still recommend to awaken uh, him, like I, I already awakened him, honestly, I just don't have enough uh, experience. Uh, like, in general, awakening epic heroes is pretty easy, uh, it doesn't take a lot of time and effort, you're gonna awaken uh, them by just playing the game. So, like, uh, I'm sure you're gonna use uh, Bahar whenever you are playing with Wilderberg, and especially if you are infantry player, and you prefer to play uh, with infantry legions rather than mages or marksmen, uh, and I would recommend to play with mages and marksmen, then 100% Bahar is your hero, uh, main stat is infantry, uh, and uh, like, in general you can't go wrong with a starting hero, right? right? Simply because you are getting a lot of tokens uh, for them, uh, and it's easy to awaken the hero and in general uh, level up the skills. But if we're gonna go like rate them, Walder is the best uh, for the League of Orders, uh, Gwenwin is the second for the Spring Wardens, and Bahar is the dead last for the uh, Wilderberg faction. Now, like, it's time for us to speak uh, like about the most important, either the Wilderberg faction, free to play friendly faction. Uh, in my opinion, they are not free to play friendly faction, they are getting more and more benefits whenever you have uh, tier 5 units. Uh, and in general, like uh, physical attack, as I said, is more beneficial for the higher uh, damage units uh, and the big because like you are getting three percent. It's a percentage damage. Whenever you have more attack damage, this percentage damage is higher, right? So like if we gonna compare it to the other faction bonuses, like I would say like Wilderberg is pretty much pay to win the faction. Uh, League of Orders is free to free to play friendly. And Spring Wardens are 50-50, right? That's my uh, opinion. For the starting uh, starting hero, it's pretty weak. Uh, that's why if you are starting Wilderberg, you are going to pay some money to buy uh, even better starting hero for yourself to awaken him. Uh, also, you are getting a lot of physical attack. And Destruction Engineering is useless even for a free-to-play player and even for a pay-to-win player. So, like, in general, uh, I would not recommend to start playing Wilderberg if you are a 100% free-to-play player, but if you are looking only about uh, looks and you like playing with Orcs, uh, feel free to do whatever you wish. This is your game, right? This is your gameplay. You need to have fun and you need to enjoy your own gameplay. That's my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, like, this is the last uh, faction uh, guide uh, which we are doing. I hope soon we're gonna get fourth uh, faction, uh, because three is quite a small amount, right? Three factions. Uh, game is game came out already almost a year, and we, are, we need to see more factions, right? And in my opinion, a new faction will be dwarves. Uh, and they're gonna have like uh, infantry unit kind of special unit kind of right I'm not, I'm not sure sure so yeah like if you are uh, maximizing your profits like your time and you want to choose the perfect option and you are a free to play player don't uh, I wouldn't recommend to choose Wilderberg and if you are going to spend in this game choose Wilderberg uh, get more physical attack and destroy your enemies that's my honest opinion regarding Wilderberg. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say regarding this faction. I hope you are liking the videos uh, simply because I'm going to continue it, right? And yeah, if you like the content, uh, uh, press like, uh, press uh, subscribe. Uh, it's, it's, it is giving me more and more motivation whenever I see that people are asking questions. They are saying that they like the content and sometimes people are even uh, uh, writing me to the, in the game that they are watching me. That's encouraging that's like gives me more and more motivation to continue so yeah thanks for watching i'm gonna see you very soon i think tomorrow or day after tomorrow my server is uh, getting the season ti right and a lot more content will be available in this channel so yeah thanks for watching bye bye and see you very soon